Hello everyone and uh, welcome back to my channel. So today something very new, very uh, not usually something I do. I've never played a let's play before, ever. I, I practiced very early on in the day with my channel when I tried to do a let's play of Call of Cthulhu, the uh, Dark Corners of the Earth game. Uh, it was terrible. <laughs> Uh, the reason I'm doing this is because on October 30th um, there is a release of Call of Cthulhu, the uh, 2018 game, and there's no chance in hell that I am not playing that. But because I've never done a Let's Play before, I am basically a virgin here. I don't know where to put my dick, so to say. <laughs> uh, so when it comes to making this, these types of videos, I am not sure about how to uh, coordinate the sound like if the sound of my voice with the gameplay uh, at what level is appropriate uh, am I going to be talking too much bullshit do I have to read all the text that I see on the screen or do I just leave it for you to watch so I'm just going to try and be like the rad brad to be honest and try to be more natural when I play this game as for this game uh, it's called Stygian obviously it's about Lovecraft's horrors and we, are good, we have a good old Cthulhu and then what seems to be maybe a, a, a Night Gaunt, perhaps? Uh, I read about this game and obviously a lot of you have mentioned it, which is why I'm making this quick video. Uh, this is just the demo and I'm not going to play the whole demo because the demo, from what I've read on forums, has no save state. But the game, the demo itself is, it's almost two hours or something if you do all the searching and stuff and I'm not going to upload a two hour video. So basically this video is just, uh, just having a quick impression of the game uh, and also testing out sort of like a test run of doing a let's play for this channel. So uh, let me know what you think and um, I'll just try and be as natural as I can be. Um, uh, yeah, let's go. Your former life was in a bliss of ignorance until you've awakened to the darkness waiting on the doorstep of our fragile dimension. Something terrible left its eons old slumber and the reality, as we knew it, collapsed. The city of Arkham was pulled to somewhere not of this world and its residents are in the shadows of true terror. As a survivor of this catastrophe, you should investigate the strange occurrences in the city and survive the rising darkness, physically and mentally, if possible. Uh, just to preface by saying that I haven't actually played any of this game before. Uh, I've just read about it. I've seen a few uh, other people do Let's Plays, so I'm going in fresh. Uh, so you've got young, adult and old. I'm gonna go with young. Uh, physique, agility, and senses. I'm gonna go with physique since I I like going to the gym a lot. So. Uh, whew, what am I most most likely here to relate to? Uh, am I a performer? Hardly. Investigator. Well, I mean that's uh. That's usually the standard go-to, right? In uh, <laughs> Lovecraftian horror, you always got the investigator guy. So, yeah, okay, let's be an, uh, an uh, no, just be a default detective. That's good enough. Belief system. So we've got humanistic, materialistic, nihilistic, esoteric, rational, and divine. Uh, for me personally, the thing that I'm drawn to most here is rational. So. Let's just go with that. Character identity, so... I'm a detective. Look at this guy, he is sleazy as fuck. Uh, but he does look like a detective. So does he, actually. Let's go with him. 
name. Okay, what kind of name? We need a good Lovecraftian name. Uh, how about N I G G E? No, 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 no. Sorry, uh, <laughs> we can't use <laughs> Lovecraft's cat. Is not applicable here. Uh, let's go with uh, Randolph Carter. Yeah. Oh, okay. So it seems like to be a old-fashioned RPG type of thing. Uh. Well, I'll. I'll try and keep it in line with what I feel like I would be good at. So, physique, agility, presence. What is presence? Attractiveness, charisma, and personal charm. I think I need to do some minuses there, to be honest. <laughs> I don't really have much of that, I think. Mind, yeah, sure. Uh, let's go with physique again. From what I understand, there is combat in this game. Um, so that might come important. Mind, obviously, you don't want to go insane in the first 10 minutes. Uh, I'd say willpower also. There we go. Skills. Well, since I'm a detective, uh, I'm going to say we're going to need firearms, for one. Investigation, obviously. And psychology... Yeah, okay, we go with psychology. So, so he's got stealth, melee, ranged attacks. I wonder how fitting that will be in a, in a Lovecraft game. Anyway. So, I'm a private detective who used to work for Boston Bureau of Investigation. His latest case attempting to locate a missing child turned out to be a much more complicated than a common kidnapping. Alright, everything looks legit. Let's go. Oh, I like that art. Look at that. That is like uh, uh, weird tales. All those pulp magazine magazines that Lovecraft contributed to. That's very nice. Look at that artwork. The doom that came to Arkham. Wow, that's nice. All right, let's go on with the game. Okay, it looks like I'm playing now. Let's see what we can do. Well, first of all, look at this artwork. It looks like everything is hand drawn. It's it is quite aesthetic. It's quite dark. Uh, maybe I'll have to brighten up the gamma in uh, post production here a little bit. But from what I'm seeing here, it looks quite aesthetic. You know, the way the character moves is quite decent. It's atmospheric, I like it. Um, let's see what we have down below. Inventory. Okay, it looks like a bit of a JRPG. You know, I'm, I'm used to gaming. I'm a bit of a gamer, you know. I grew up playing a ton of games. Uh, NES, SNES, uh, Master System, uh, all that stuff I used to play early PC games and I kind of dropped out so I do have some familiarity with the old JRPG sort of system of left hand right hand all that sort of stuff ha <laughs> craft cheeky bastards tentacles yeah you need the tentacles right 
I hope you checked out my previous video about tentacles. I think that's quite a good one. Grimoire. So we'll have spells and rituals. It's a bit like uh, the board game Arkham Horror then. And we've got a map. Miskatonic River. Beware of the red boats. Never go there. Follow him. He knows in my dreams. Miskatonic, Main Street, Riverside, French Hill. French Hill was also from uh, Lovecraft's stories. He always mentioned it. You know. Okay, let's. Okay, we take a lantern. There's a stealth mechanic. Seems to be a sleeping mechanic. Map, journal. Journal. Find the Dismal Man. Okay. So, as for the story, um, like I said, I just know it's love. It's, I just know it's Lovecraftian in general. Equip the lantern. Okay, I I just know that it is um, it's Lovecraft story. Uh, it's it's a Lovecraftian game. It's gotten good reviews. People are saying good things about it. You people in the comment section are saying, "Oh, have you heard about Stygian?" Uh, yeah. So apart from that, I have no idea what the hell is happening. I don't know anything about this game. Uh, to be honest, lately I've just been playing um, a lot of Castlevania again. You know, I've been playing the DS games, uh, the piratey way, of course. So I don't have a DS, but man, that's what I've been playing lately. So I haven't been really into um, keeping up up to date with uh, modern games. But so far, this from what I'm looking at here now, my prediction is that. Uh, we're in a dream because listen how he the sound when he walks it's like very echoey but sort of in a surreal way and then that nobody's here it's completely deserted uh, I don't know it just seems odd I think this is like a dream sequence it wouldn't surprise me Alright, let's look around. Uh, so there's the ocean. So it does look like we're in a new, new England area, if you look at like the architecture. They got that right, the location is always good to have New England by the ocean, is nice. Uh, you got some ships. Let's see. Um, what have we got here? Richter's Drugstore. Was Richter ever a character in any Lovecraft story? I don't think so. So, if that's a reference, I don't get it. Uh, Marsh and Son, yeah. <laughs> okay, Marsh, yeah. No explanation needed where that one is coming from. Uh, oh my gosh. How you doing? How you doing, Mr. Cthulhu? <laughs> yeah, okay, that, that artwork's pretty tight. Look at that. Uh, that is cool. That is really cool. So, as for the storyline, hmm, I don't know. We're in a dream sequence, so maybe this is like the alternative reality. And when you actually wake up, things are going to be different. I don't know. So far, it's a beautiful looking game. Main Street. What do we have here? Honest Bill. What? What is... Ah. This is like a Castlevania thing. Uh, if I remember Super Castlevania 4 and the subsequent DS games you have like the skeletons that dancing in the, the, the ballroom and the dining room. And they always attack you. That's classic Castlevania. <laughs> it looks kind of surreal. They don't look like host like they're hostile, no. But it's kind of fucking eerie. Let's see.
Nah, it was a dream. Aren't I a smart cookie? Sanity lost. Oh, of course. You have to have a, a sanity mechanic in a Lovecraft game, right? At the gates of Miskatonic. So what I saw before the dream ended was that that was a gateway to Miskatonic University. That looked pretty cool. So it says there's a radial menu. If you click on something with the right mouse button, character, inventory, and Jewish spells. It's always good to know. You get a uh, 10% off all purchases with your Jewish magic. <laughs> uh, cigarettes, guns, drugs, spaghetti. Everything a growing boy needs for a fun night on the town, right? I'll cut the window. Okay, so now in cases like this, you know, um, you should tell me, because should I be reading that out aloud to you, or is that a bit condescending? You know, I mean, I'm not Morgan Freeman here, my voice is not that beautiful, so should I be reading that? I don't think so. I'll tell you what seems logical. I'll just leave it on the screen long enough that it takes for me to read it, and I, I will assume you will read it too. <sighs> okay. Um, so there's a stealth option here. So I guess there are enemies which you have to sneak by, or you can fight head on. And that they have here these two um, neighboring characters, because that's me in the middle. I'm assuming there's going to be some sort of a party system where you get up to two people that can follow you. Hmm. Uh, this is cool. Look at this. <coughs> that is highly aesthetic music. Got the jazz guy. This is the place where you come to drink. Oh my god, look at this. You got the fire lanterns, the whiskey bottles. Guys trying to get laid. Girls trying to get laid. This guy really loves darts. Man, this is the bar. Okay, can't talk. Him? Hmm. Again, should I be reading this? I don't know. I can read the dialogue at least. Good morning, Konuto. If I can call this never ending fucking night twilight morning. What was all that hurly burly upstairs? Bad dreams. Hmm. You could say that. Why am I not surprised? I recommend hitting the bottle before going to sleep. Makes things easier. Since you're awake, let's talk about the cigs you owe me. You were too drunk to pay yesterday and told me to remind you later, remember? Hmm. Okay, let's pay him. Throw me ten cigs and we'll call it even. There you go. You're the kind of regular I'd like to see in this establishment. Take care, Konuto. Konuto, is that Italian? Can we talk? Not interested. Yeah, I don't want to cock block the guy. Mm, him. Can talk. So this is darts player. C care for a game of cricket? You don't get a chance to play against the wo world champion every day. Cricket. Uh, no. We're here to defeat old ones, not play darts or cricket. Okay, this is the daytime. You can see a bit more. Ah, is that Devil Reef, dare I say it? Is it? Uh, uh, it's just some islands. It would be cool if it was Devil Reef, but then I guess that would mean this would have to be Innsmouth, which is probably not the best idea for a story. I mean, uh, you don't want to like limit yourself just to Innsmouth.
so we can talk to people. He doesn't seem too interested. So we got Cthulhu here. Now we can investigate him. This towering depiction of one of the Elder Gods perched atop the naked base of a shattered statue. She says it gives her the creeps. So, it looks like everything has really gone to hell here. It's like an, a post-apocalyptic uh, environment where everyone's just sort of hanging on and making the best that they can do. It kind of reminds me of Dishonored. When you first get into Dunwall and then the plague has ravaged the town and everything has gone to shit and it's like martial law. And uh, but everyone's just trying to survive. It's kind of like that. So we have a typical Arkham resident tired and decrepit looking. She looks at you uneasily. What is that grotesque monument over there? The cult erected it in place of the old Lincoln statue. Grandfather altar they call it. Damned atrocity. Cult has come from across the river to sacrifice people who have been mocked by the mob. Blood offerings to Grandfather Cthulhu. Cthulhu. Even the name freezes my blood. The Grandfather they call him. Their new god who awakened on the black day with its brethren, the great old ones. The fanatics of the cult torture, sacrifice and kill in their names. Another thing. Mm, what do you know about the Black Day? Nothing more than you, I guess. We had all seen the signs, right? People having the same nightmares, the mysterious disappearances, whole families massacred. We saw it coming, but pretended everything was fine. The Black Day started with that, ap with that apocalyptic the black day started with that apocalyptic roar, piercing deep into our minds. The sky melting, colors fading. I... I can't remember anything else. Hmm. Let's go with that one. Aha, sanity gained. There was the end of days. What explanation are you talking about? We are all alone, all alone in this purgatory, left to the mercy of tyrants and deviants. Hmm. <coughs> so what we see is we recovered sanity, and then earlier in the demo we lost sanity as well. So it's kind of like um, there's an ongoing sanity mechanic, and you can lose it and you can gain it depending on your actions or your ability to process what you're seeing. So maybe if I chose a different answer, like when I asked her to go on, she would have felt like uh, maybe that would have like provoked my imagination, and I would have, you know, just felt more uh, insane or, or more shaken, and then I would have lost sanity. Maybe that's the the logic behind the game. I'm not sure. That sounds about right. So here we have the daylight again. Such a lot the gods gave to me. Does he go on? To me, the days, the disappointed. <laughs> Bonus points to any one of you who know which line this comes from. Which story? The Baron. The Broken. Uh, I tell you, it's one of my favorite stories. Uh, I've often talked about it. Uh, I love this this uh, I think I know who this character is gonna be I know always that I am an outsider a stranger in this century and now among those who are still men I think that's how the quote goes you know this outsider if you get what I'm saying why have the cruel gods chosen me for their ghastly amusement No, I'm gonna be a nice guy. 
yellow ghoulish eyes barely visible behind the filthy rags. Home is the only thing your kind brought me. To think I once foolishly believed us to be kind. Leave me alone. Man, I like that. I mean, they made... Okay, yeah, if you didn't know, that is the outsider from the outside of the story the protagonist there um, that they made the outsiders I mean because the outsider of the story is really um, a small of a no, not really a philosophical work but it's more a reflective work of Lovecraft's own feelings about himself but that person was never really meant to be a character but they made him a character in the story it's I kind of like that touch that's pretty cool. Uh, okay, so you can loot uh, various crates and rubbish. And cigarettes seem to be the currency. It seems a bit like uh, Skyrim there, doesn't it, with the looting and Fallout. Uh, what else have we got here? Bank of Ar Arkham. Bank of Arkham, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's beautiful architecture there. Very uh, Rhode Islandy, isn't it? And what's with these tentacles all over? It's like a plant with a, a vine or something. Arkham Post. Hmm. Can we talk? You see a skinny woman wearing heavy makeup. How she earns a living in. Ah, oh, it's a hooker. A good time. Oh my god, am I gonna hire a, a, a whore in a, a Lovecraft game? What a time to be alive. Uh, uh, it depends. <laughs> uh, it depends on how much it will cost me. 36 for a nice long one in the back alley. <laughs> Lovecraft spinning in his grave. No, I can't insult the guy. I have uh, mysteries of the universe to solve here. I can't get my my uh, my dick wet in the back alleys of Arkham. That's just inappropriate. Um, ah, look here. We have a key. Look how it's blinking. That's just like in uh, Resident Evil games when the objects you can interact with blink. Journal. Unlock the mystery of the key numbered zero. I found a peculiar key at the entrance to the ruined university marked with the number zero. Perhaps I could find someone to tell me what it unlocks. Okay. I'm gonna have to talk to some NPCs then. How about this guy? Him? No. His morning is dead horse. Okay, how about these guys? Uh, they're like hobos. They were all. Uh, they, they, they didn't like. They're like one-line NPCs. Who can I talk to? He doesn't want to talk. This person, her, maybe. What can you tell me about this key? Yeah, that's the one. Isidore could help you. He runs the antique store and has a thing for keys. Where is it? Schmidt's Antiques. French Hill. Alright. Wooden house. Uh, okay. How about some more dialogue? Another thing. Uh, heard all that. Don't need to know that just for the demo play. So, French Hill. <coughs> if we look at the map. So we are at Miss Kato no, we're at Main Street. So then the next screen is Riverside, and the next one is French Hill, and that's where Isidore is located at. So let's go there. What? 
A dark-skinned, well-built man approaching you. He does not seem to be from these parts. Okay. Hola, senor! Oh my god, I get to practice my Spanish. <laughs> I've been trying to learn Spanish for the past uh, few months, so let's give it a try, huh? Please forgive me, please forgive my interruption, but I have been seeing you at the old eel and wanted to introduce, introduce me mismo, myself, I guess, that's what it's saying. I'm called Eduardo, Eduardo Canela, to be exact, but there is nothing special about my nam, my nama de la familia. I am just another poor fisherman from Con Kohimar. Kohimar, is that a real place? Surely that's not part of any Lovecraft story. Is it like a Spanish Innsmouth or something? Yet I carried the Carnella name for this part to this far part of the world. Not all that remains is our past, no? You may be right. I am Randolph Carter. A pleasure to meet you, senor. I have a sensation that you may need my services. Different from you, I am accustomed to this, this survival on the streets, this, the never-ending sobreviviente. Sobreviviente? Uh, I don't know what that means in Spanish, I'm afraid. I've survived the Spaniards, then American occupation, then civil war, then the American again. No hard feelings though. Uh, sure not. But you see my point now. I know what to do when things get... What do you say? Hot? I can be the difference between life and Santa Muerte. So you're offering to fight for me. Amor con amor se paga. Y lo demás con dinero. Love can do much. Money can do everything. If you pay me my sig, senor, you'll have your own special... Angel Protector. How much? Two dozen six. Okay. Okay. So <clears throat> that sort of confirms my uh, my suspicion that you can get people to follow you because you got these two empty spaces here. You know these blacked out characters. Uh, but right now I think my finances are uh, shit. How many cigarettes? I got 96. Okay, that's not too bad, but I have a feeling I should save my money. And uh, right now, I haven't entered into any combat scenario. And probably, you know, in an RPG, the first combat you always have is, are like some generic enemy, like rats or the most basic zombie or something like that. So I don't think we need him yet, but maybe later on, you do need to have a companion. Alright, this is French Hill. Oh man, this is... Ah, there's our goal. Schmidt's at Antiques, but... Uh, let's have a look around first. First of all, what's going on with the sky? It's like shimmering. It's very eerie. And then we have this building. And look at all these mobsters. They must be like the mob that one of the NPCs was talking about. And here... Oh man, the architecture is just beautiful. Gambrel roofs, you know, Lovecraft was always going on about gambrel roofs. Parasitic fungi. Native to this dimension. Oh. So what else have we got? Look at the blue lights. Oh, that is something. That is interesting. We've got a trainway. That's where the hobos live, it seems. And these guards seem to be blocking everything. We've got a, a bus. Dayfares to Innsmouth. Ha <laughs> ha. I wonder what happened to Joe Sargent. Is he still alive? Is that Joe Sargent? That would be so cool if it was. I hope you guys know who I'm talking about. Joe Sargent. Come on. You should, you should, if you don't know who Joe Sargent is, you need to read more Lovecraft. Alright, let's go into Schmidt's Antiques. Hmm. Hmm. Cool. 
little shop. Oh, okay. He seems like uh, a bit more than a normal NPC. Okay, there's an old guy. Yes. Are oh, you looking for something in particular? What do you know about this key? See a flash of greed in the old man's eyes. He hastily takes some notes. It's a peculiar notebook on the counter. Is it numbered zero? Oh, how interesting. Where did you get such a rare one? What can I offer you for that key, my child? Hmm. So he wants to buy it, but I mean, keys in in RPGs are always the way to progress the story. So I shouldn't sell it. Tell me about it first, and I'll think about it. Hmm. He doesn't trust me, the bastard. Okay. Five hundred six. And you know, I'm a non-smoker. Try again. No. I'm still not a smoker. Maybe with 700 bottles of vodka, we can have a little discussion. Mm. A thousand. I think losing the key will, would hamper the, the progression of the story, you know? Uh, yeah, a thousand would... I could buy a lot of resources, but no, I'm going to keep on to it. Our conversation is over. I can pay for the information. So I bring the key after it's done and then it's a deal. Okay, so after I've completed some quest, I can give him the key, fine. 56 in your word, did you bring the key to me? Okay. I lose 50 cigarettes and then uh so now we have some exposition. Uh, XP, hey, always very good. We've got to level up, you know. Bank of Arkham. Uh, thank you. I'll check that place. Wait, where is it actually? Main Street to the northwest of here. Okay. Okay. Bank of Arkham. Let us vamos. Mm. I don't know. Let's just go carry on. I want to I don't I'm not gonna play the whole game, the whole demo. It's too long and Frankly, it's because of selfish reasons. I want to go do. Uh, I want to go do other stuff after I finish here. Hmm. <coughs> ah, these guys are going after my bro, the outsider. Come on, man, I relate to that character. Mm. Leave him alone! Are you in league with us, demon? Don't you see what kind has brought upon us? Or you'll come through me. Yeah, I'm tough, I can do it. Attack the lynch mob. Hey, that's like five against one. Six against one, fuck that. Uh, let's just be... Let's show some, show some balls here. Purge the evil. Into combat. Uh, fuck, I guess... I've not... Oh, oh! Shit's about to go down, bae. <laughs> Shit's about to go down, boys. Come on, let's see. Struggle begins. Okay. Hobo hits outsider for five damage. <laughs> now it's Randolph Carter's turn. Uh, 
I only have my fists. That's bullshit. Uh, okay, move. Can I attack or anything? The inventory. I I can't equip the 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 gun. Why not, man? This is bullshit. All right. Now I just get my ass kicked. Oh man, I don't know. I don't know about this. Why can't I equip the gun? Hit him. Minus two. That's not much. Maybe it's out of 10 and then it is actually a lot. Um. I'm not too sure about this combat system, to be honest. Gonna, I'm just gonna nail the same guy over and over. Okay, buddy. Uh, okay, something's ticking down there. Uh, where is um, my my weapon? Actually, I can't. I cannot equip it. I think that's it's kind of bullshit. Why not? Oh um, man, that's a, that's a little bit disappointing. Maybe I just don't understand the game properly, but uh, alright. We'll just go hand to hand here. Oh, fucking hell. Outside is getting jacked up, man. That's not good. New turn begins. Fuck him up. Hey. Don't hurt the outsider. I don't like this situation. Defend. Outsider, he is going to defend as well. He's in a bad state. Ay, 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 ay. Dios. How's his life? Man, I don't want him to die. I really feel empathy for the guy. Fuck him up. Miss. Uh, minus three. Ay, 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 Dios, don't die. Defend. Low reaction, high reaction. <coughs> Miss. Oh man, I don't know. This com <coughs> this combat system is not the best. It does not feel that intuitive. I I don't like it too much. This having to move before you fight. Okay. Oh boy. Poor fucking outsider, he got Why? wrecked. Why did you intervene oh, on my ball? Huh, <laughs> look here. I just wanted to help. I just wanted to help. But the live version. Well, that one seems a good option. Sanity gain is always good. Wait. Of helping my own self, stranger. Much less others. Such is the lot the gods have given me. Believe me, be that I may continue my search for that accursed man. The man in black with no face. A man with the cane of bones. The ghostly tapping of his stick still rings in my ears. 
The dismal man. Why do they voice him for some parts but not all the parts? Hmm. No, I can't do that voice. That voice was excellent. Uh, Alright. Then you're yeah, just as do <laughs> I can't do it. Then you're yeah, just as doomed as I am, stranger. In my bones. I know no good will come from finding him yet. I have nothing else except to find him. His countenance was the last thing I saw before finding myself in this purgatory. Ah, let's look for him together. It is no coincidence that you know the man with the cane of bones. Perhaps I shall walk with you for a time. Vamonos. So yeah, look there, I got my guy. Yeah, that seems about right, and now... Man, I'm in an RPG with the outsider fighting against uh, Eldritch abominations and crazy people. This is amazing. Oh man, this game is pretty tight, man. I like it. Uh, I Two thumbs up. I don't know about two thumbs up, but uh, definitely something's up here, man. This is cool. This is a good game. Look here, you can see here. The outsider has joined your journey. Um, but I'm worried about his... I'm worried about his health. I mean, can we... Can we improve our health a bit? First of all, equip the fucking gun. Jesus Christ. Then now I'm armed. You know, I stand a bit of chance. Character. You flip to the outsider. Uh, we need to... Okay, he didn't get that destroyed, actually. Um, okay, no, no, fuck it. It's just a demo, so let's see. Let's go. Uh, Main Street. Yeah, okay. Um, the next step is to go into the bank. Uh, man, that looks like a pain in the ass. Um, Alright, um... Maybe I should just end the, the, the demo here, to be honest. Uh, it's been uh, quite a, I think, 40 minutes since making this. I don't know. Uh, well, let's just see what happens before we go in. Okay. to the bank. I feel like uh, we're gonna have to pay a toll or something. No, not at all. Very good. Uh, so we're in the bank of Arkham and it looks like we're having a... a yeah, times are hard. So yeah, I mean, I'm just gonna end the thing here because um, it's just the demo. It's just the demo and uh, I think I've played enough of it to get the good idea of it. Um, there's a there's a full let's play of this complete demo. I will put the link to that a link to that video in the description. It's not done by me, but it's the one I sort of perused a little bit. Um, like today, today I'm actually a bit short of time. I have I have a ton of other stuff I need to get done. I have three days off from work, uh, but I can't just be inside all day doing this. Um, uh, yeah, so so far. I am impressed with the game, the artwork is on point, the sound is really good, the sound design, the music is atmospheric enough, I really like it. The general setting is intriguing, that um, it's sort of like a post-apocalyptic thing, something went down and now everyone's just trying to make the best of a shit situation and it sort of reduced human civilization to a primitive uh, you know, survival of the fittest sort of scenario, and there's people taking advantage, like these mobsters with the guns. There's enough references to Arkham that, uh, to Lovecraft stories that I feel like, yeah, oh my, cool, yeah, that's cool, like the bus to Innsmouth, the outsider being a real character, the various cities like Arkham here, French Hill being referenced. It's really cool. <coughs> Sorry about that. It's really cool. Um, I really like how everything is, is looking. The 
the combat I wasn't too impressed with. You know, if you want to do combat, maybe make it like uh, in Chrono Trigger, because that combat was on fucking point, you know. It really was good. Or Final Fantasy. But that movement, I didn't really get it. Uh, the menu wasn't too intuitive. Um, but I see there's an ability to cast spells and stuff. I didn't really get into that. Um, it doesn't seem as intuitive as the games I grew up playing, to be honest. Uh, but so far, I'm really impressed. If you're interested, I, I will consider playing the full game when it comes out. Apparently, it comes out next year. And yeah, that's all I have to say for this game, this demo at least. Uh, I really look forward to playing The Call of Cthulhu in October 30th. Um, there's nothing that's going to stop me from playing the game. I've been waiting for eons to play that. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, I'll see you around. Eh? Adios.